the body was buried, the state swung into action, and a second post-mortem had to be done. An exhumation order was issued. That was done. A file was constructed. The same file was forwarded to the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution. The, public, the Director of Public Prosecution has recommended that this matter, there is nobody directly involved with the murder or the death of one Jeff Mwathi. His recommendation is that the file be taken to a public university. We appear today, we have been told by the state that they have 35 witnesses. Their statements which we are getting shortly, we'll be looking at the witness statements. This matter being a first major public in, uh, inquest in this country, we are appealing as a family that anybody who has information, anybody who has information to the circumstances that led to the death of a young man, Jeff Mwathi, can directly contact the family, his lawyers I'm here, so that we are able to produce that evidence in the inquest. If there is any fear about is the security of that person, that information will be handled confidentially, we will be able to activate the witness protection of agency to protect that witness so that we unravel the death of this young man. This mother had only two living children. She is now having only one. It is very emotional. It is very, very emotional that today as she stands here, the government, the DCI has failed 